Hi, in this slide I want to uh, illustrate uh, a case study through a case study the upside benefits. It's hard to visualize of putting simultaneously in a, a small customer uh, new division program while simultaneously focusing on five most profitable customers and five most important target accounts in sort of a number one niche. In this particular case study, the, uh, the client started off with 4,200 active accounts. Uh, but when we looked at the boundary line between margin dollars required, this is historically speaking, margin dollars required to support outside sales coverage, there really were only about 400 accounts. The other 3,800 were just, you know, with few exceptions, 95% of them were, were chronically small, growing nowhere kind of, kind of accounts. And so they were reallocated to a call center. Uh, freight was unbundled and raised, and then prices were raised, and there were strict minimum orders and uh, some other conditions. Uh, and we anticipated that some of these customers would say, forget it, I'm going to leave and, and go paralyze the competitor. But the ones that remained, we assumed that they were going to buy more uh, and they did, in fact. They, on average, they were buying twice as much as they had. Their, their margin dollars went up by 230%, and they were profitable, although we had 1,600 less active accounts because those guys left and went somewhere else. Now, at the same time, over the, over the year, you think, well, if all these little guys are leaving, that's going to hurt sales. Well, they weren't buying anything to begin with. It was just it was peanuts. Uh, and by hyper-focusing on best accounts and giving them better service, sales for 2011 were up 40%. And interesting, the company added no new, new employees because the activity costs of all these customers were so huge, $2 for every $1 margin, that when they left, that freed up time for them to take care of much more productive employees. So the average gross margin dollar per employee went up 200%. The average operating profit per employee went up 600%. When we looked at the top 10 accounts that we had been hyper-focusing on, they had gone up by $500,000 in net profit. If we looked at the bottom 10 year-over-year -year accounts that had dropped off the most on a net profit basis, there were some hits. People went out of business. That's happened. So who knows? Maybe some of them switched. But if they did leave, that, of course, freed up slack that could be invested in the ones that, that went up dramatically. Um, now, what did the competitors get in the bottom line? Well, first of all, they got a lot more minnows uh, on whom they're going to lose money. And we obviously stole up here 500000 versus one fifty. We picked up a lot more whale share. And that's the way I'd like it to be. I, I, we're always going to have competitors. I think it's an excellent idea to keep them highly busy, losing money, taking care of customers that are growing nowhere while we steal their, their core franchise accounts. So there's a, the, the numbers of, a, of the dynamic upside of downsizing but upgrading the number of accounts you're servicing in a very focused way. Thank you.